This is a direct video response to Steve, aka Necro, I believe, over at SAS Woods Ball. He just released a 17 minute long video in response to one of my videos, basically stating, no fucks were given. Maybe not in those words, but that was the sentiment. 17 minutes. See, this leads me to believe that at least 17 minutes and change worth of fucks were in fact given. Rate, comment, subscribe. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. There's still time on the bar. I've still got some time to talk. I realize that fans of my show and followers of his stuff, uh, they're expecting some unmitigated monkey slappage here, but that's just not my way. You see, I prefer to actually have a rational response that has evidence to back up what I'm saying, not just throw accusations out there with no base in reality. In his video, he made a lot a lot of accusations, and he backed none of them up. He didn't offer one link, he didn't offer one quote, and it's really hard to have a discussion with somebody like that, especially when they're going to be a liar. Yeah, I just called Steve a liar. Where do I come off saying that? In my first contact with Steve, I said, dude, who was your target? Because the video was forwarded to me, the original video was forwarded to me by a fan who said, dude, what's this guy got against you? So he wrote me back saying, no, um, it wasn't directly at you, man. I've never seen any of your videos. I, I don't play the same kind of paintball you play. Yeah, what do you call it? You, you play HK, right? So I kindly and politely sent him links to my videos saying, yeah, these are the points that I make in my videos, which are diametrically opposite to yours, which is why my fan forwarded this to me. At which point he said, oh, well, yeah, I've seen 80% of your videos, so I'm a real big fan of yours. Now this is all done in private message, and I'm not going to be sharing private messages here, but I will condense the conversations down a little bit. But the point is that in his 17 minute long change diatribe, he comes off as an expert, as if he's seen all of my videos. Yeah, dude, you lie. And the funny thing about catching you in a lie, once I catch you in one, why should I believe anything else that you say? You're just going to lie to me again. And this really got me thinking, you know, why? Why would somebody lie, especially something like as pitiful as that? I mean, that's just, that's nothing. Why would you lie about that? Then I kind of started looking into things. Now, I will admit that I am drawing conclusions here, so I might be wrong, but um, history shows me not really. You see, there's one thing that needs to be understood. SAS Woodsball is not just a team. This is a business. If you go to his Facebook page, if you go to the website, you will see that it is a business. And what do they sell? Well, I'm going to assume for a moment that there's no membership dues to SAS Woods Ball. I don't see any information stating that there is, so obviously he's not making money that way. But what he does have is a store in which he sells SAS Woods Ball gear, things like barrel socks and t-shirts and, and hats and stuff like that. Okay, that's, 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 that's fine. I'm fine with that. But when you look also on the page, you'll notice that he actually has an affiliation with U.S. Cavalry, which anybody can get. But what that means is that if anybody buys anything from U.S. Cav through his website, he makes 6% of the sale. He also has an online store in which he sells paintball guns, and I do have to admit that his prices are more than reasonable for paintball gear. About average, not, not incredibly cheap and he's not gouging, but reasonable. What I'm getting at here is that SAS Woodsball is a business for Steve. And what I find kind of find ironic about that is that he was giving me a hard time for being a professional filmmaker. Nothing that's ever said about that anywhere on the websites that I maintain ever said I was a professional. But um, apparently it's evil for me to make money by monetizing these videos. But it's okay for him to make money by selling guns to his club members. But taken in that context, that's where the lie comes in. He's protecting his business. He's selling his stuff. He's he's branding SAS Woodsball to be one specific thing. Oh, branding. Um, I did a show about that, by the way. I'll put a link over here for it. Yeah, it's it's branding, which means that he has to maintain an image. He has to maintain this thing, I guess. So with that in mind, a lot of this makes a lot more sense. And what exactly is the branding image that he's selling here? Well, you know, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of this. This is his SAS recruitment video. It's available on his SAS Woodsball site. And I was watching this and I was going, where have I seen this before? I know this is from... Oh, right! Special Ops Paintball! Let me abuse the technology here for a moment because I can do so. Let me show you both videos. The top is going to be the SAS Woodsball video and the bottom is going to be one of the old Black Cell videos from around 2006. Yeah, they look awful familiar, don't they? That's because they're both selling the same image. How do I put this gently? Steve, Steve, one of the things that you really, really got on me about was saying that I was talking way too much about the past. 
one of the things that WebDog does is it does talk about the past so it's not repeated. You see, paintball's in this cycle. Every three to five years we rotate the players around. Totally new batch of players every three to five years. And what that means is that we're spinning our wheels. We're doing the same thing over and over and over again. Translation. What SAS Woodsball is doing has already been done. I'm going to end on one particular thing because he really went out of his way to needle on this about how much I hate Mill Sim Paintball. He actually even mentioned the Tactical series by name, saying that that was just my hatred of Mill Sim. Okay, dude, you realize that I'm an equal opportunity cynic. I go after everybody equally. Tournament players, scenario players, walk-on players. Everything's fair game. There are no sacred cows. But I do understand that a lot of your fans have never seen any of these episodes. And if any of them have actually hung around this long for the video, right over here, I will put a link to the playlist of the entire tactical series. Go check it out. Go find a title that you like. And um, go watch one of the videos for yourself and decide for yourself whether or not I hate Milsim or not. And since you guys are here, let me explain one of the main philosophies behind Wed Dog Radio. My entire job on this channel is to challenge the viewers. I don't want them to agree with me. I don't want anybody to agree with me. I want to spark debate. I've said this before, if I want to find something that's going to love everything that I do, I'll go buy a dog. You see, this is why I don't delete comments. Matter of fact, if there's not at least one dislike on a video, and there's not at least one negative comment in the video, I consider it a failure. If everybody is trained to agree with you, then change never happens. So you see, where you say that I'm living in the past, I'm actually living 20, 30, 40 years down the road. I'm living in a time where I don't exist, but paintball's in the Olympics. That paintball is being played in gym classes. That we have gotten over all the petty crap, that we've solved a lot of these issues that we keep on having with things like people getting lit up and with safety issues. That's where I'm living. And besides, living in the 90s, really not it's all cracked up to be. The hairstyles sucked. Give me a good 60s or 70s rock tune any day. Much better. All right, kill it. Now we're done.